Hello, thank you for watching this video. First of all, I'd like to show the player and the scripts that I have written. And these are the scripts that are that are attached to the player. For demonstrating has mobile controls, I'm going to go to player state script and then check has mobile controls. When I hit play, you will see that the joystick will work. Right now it's working. And since this is not a mobile, I cannot actually show the run button functioning as well. In order to test this game on a PC or on the or in the editor, uncheck has mobile controls and play. Now the WASD will work. And if you press down the run button, which is right shift, sorry, left shift, the player is going to run. So left shift and WASD on the PC is going to cause the player to run. On mobile, you have to press the run button. The other thing that was added is, of course, the final portal unlocking system. So this is the unlock button. I have to press and hold it so that the unlock feature works. Un unlock feature works. Now for the unlock feature, this this image has to completely disappear and then the portal will be unlocked. That is the idea. Of course, it isn't the portal is unlocked right now. There isn't anywhere for the player to go. But in the final game, when you'll reach the final portal, you will be expected or the user will be expected to press and hold this icon down so that they can unlock the portal. Another thing that I'd like to show is that this little stamina bar, it's going to decrease when I start running. And as, as soon as I stop running, this stamina bar will return to its original position slowly and steadily. That is all. Now I'm going to show you some of the scripts just to give you an idea of how things are working. If I go to edit scripts, you'll see that this is the player states. These are test mode functions. And of course, I forgot to show you the hurt function. So here I will show you the hurt function now. So I believe it was H for hurt. Let me just check what it was. I believe it was, uh, let me just check it in front of you. So, so to test the hurt function, only when is test mode is on, we have to press the K button. So let me go back to Unity and we'll test this. So if I move around, which I'm going to right now, I'm going to press K and you can see the pop-up appearing. This tells the user how much damage the player has received. Going back to the script, we are inside the player states, the player states script, and over here, these are the various player states, which are being controlled over here, or being called over here. And this is where all of the code, this is where the code for the various state runs. Okay, other than that, these are the references to the components. And these are, of course, Unity functions, which are going to call all of the functions required to make the game function properly. These, this is the player spawn object script, which is going to be used to spawn the health pop-up. This is the final portal script. This is the health pop-up script. This is the player property script. This is only for health right now. And this is the player canvas script. Uh, this is useful for controlling the cooldown slider, the stamina slider. I call it the cooldown slider over here. And you can even see it's called run cooldown slider.